Hello everyone, today we're taking a look at Neg, a macro virus written for Excel rather than Word. I like this one quite a bit because with Excel there are different ways to hide your work and this macro virus employs some pretty interesting techniques to try to avoid detection by the user. As you can see here we have three variants, we have B, C, and E. We will run each one and they will all infect Excel and so we will end up with a very thoroughly infected spreadsheet before the end of this video. We will go ahead and open the B variant, and nothing much appears to happen. We have our spreadsheet open, we can navigate to our macros, we can see here that we have three macros in this file, and three in a file called lore.xlm. However, we do not see that file anywhere. But thankfully the virus does not lock it down, and we can jump right into the code and see what's happening. So we have some nice credits here at the top of the macro, uh, neg is a trademark of no mercy. Please include this text generated with neg. I'm not sure what neg is, but we have a website, and I tried visiting it. It does not exist anymore, unfortunately. Virus name is apparently supposed to be Lord, but Kaspersky decided it should be neg, and was written by Foxes with neg. So, moving right along, and moving Clippy right along out the way, we can see in this code that it employs one technique, it uh, actually checks to see if lord.xlm is running and creates this as a hidden worksheet and this is where it actually infects new worksheets and if this is running it's able to infect other stuff that is happening in Excel. So in the sub fuck we can see that it turns off screen updating so you can't see what's happening it activates the lord.xlm window and makes it visible activates it makes sure that the sheet is visible and then copies it to your current workbook so that it is infected and then turns them all off and makes them invisible and then reactivates screen updating so you won't see this actually happen but it will actually create this worksheet attach it to the one that you're attempting to use and infect it and then hide everything that it did and we can actually see this if we go back here we go to window and unhide we will see we can unhide the workbook lord where we now have two workbooks open and this one is just trying to infect everything that runs. And finally we have a payload for this variant. Close out of it real quick here. We close one, it closes both. And we'll change it to the first of the month. Run it again and close. It says get the best Excel scanner NVT98. So pretty much referring to antivirus software. Get the best antivirus scanner you can get because you're infected dude. Press OK. It goes away move along to neg e now and uh, we get some interesting notice from excel that blah 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 we don't care macros aren't stored in the document and we can see this is a sacrificial goat file from sophos and once again we can take a look at our macros however we seem to be gaining some we've got lord running because it appends itself to every excel spreadsheet we open but now we've also got neg.xlm which is also infecting everything that we open. If we edit it, we can see it attempts to uh, hide everything we were just in. Uh, it did not successfully delete all these menu bars because we are right here viewing this code. So, you try. We continue scrolling. Things are generally pretty much the same. And we just have a different message when we close out of Excel on the 13th of the month. So let's do that. But we can see here get the best Excel scanner because we're still infected with the first variant. We change to the 13th and run it again and close. Ambiguous name detected. Oh good. It broke. But anyway, thankfully it continued without crashing this entire video. It says this XM Neg generated with Neg, the world first Excel generator. So cool. This is special. No, no changes. We're good. Finally, we're gonna move right along to the C variant which is quite a bit more destructive than what we've seen because message boxes generally aren't destructive. But looking at our macros, we are now infected three times over because there are quite a few macros in this document. And we'll just go ahead and edit here. And it also attempts to employ these stealth techniques and also failed again. I like lound the speaker we want dance. That's a good comment. We scroll on down and check out what this actually does. Instead of a message box, we open autoexecute.bat and we tell it to format the drive. And then we display message box. So let's check that out. I want to see that happen. 
ambiguous name again. No, 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 get out of here, Clippy, please. Don't ruin the video. We're almost done. One more time. Oh, that's the wrong one. Okay, yeah, alright. No, no. Whoa, what happened? I think it did the thing. Let's take a look at that message, though. Ambiguous name. There we go. Your files is being infected by... Period. Virus ADHIFS. For detailed information about us, please visit me at GeoCities. Oh no, it's gone. Or Focus Asia. That's the other one that was already gone. Or contact person at Muwara Virus Riders at 0341462989 with Mr. Nawaw. Na Nawa? I don't know. I don't know if that's a phone number or what, but you can try calling it if you want to. And we'll say no, we don't want to save the changes. And if we look at autogexecute.bat, we are all set up to format the drive, so let's go ahead and do that. That sounds fun. Shut down, restart, go. So the hard disk activity indicator is going nuts. We don't seem to be booting into Windows. Batch file missing, cannot find win.com, unable to continue loading Windows. That's not a good sign for our data. And the only thing on the disk is command.com. And it just says Windows 98. Neat. Let us restart and see if this even boots at all now. Awesome! So we have the world's best computer now in that it is one file, command.com. And when you run it, it tells you you're running Windows 98. And that's, that's all I want in the computer. So, that is about it for Neg. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.